Hello everyone. We will continue that topic, copies window. In the previous video, we created a copy window. We wrote the logic based upon the system variable SFS by copy count, and we displayed that sys and we displayed the variable LV underscore text. It means if the first copy is going on, if we have the first copy, it will print original copy. If we have the second copy, it will print customer copy. And we are displaying LV underscore text here. Now for the best understanding, I will show you in that debugging mode. In the future, we have the topic also how to debug a smart forms. But as of now, I will show you in debugging. I will go for the program and show you. I'm running my smart form through the program. Now I will go for two copies. I will pass the output device. I will go for print preview. And you can see my program automatically stopped where I put the breakpoint. And you can see this system variable value is one because first copy is going as of now. My first if condition is true and LV underscore text is original copy. I will go for next F8. I'll go for F8. Now you can see again breakpoint stop. And what is the our system variable value now? S002. Because the second copy is going on. What is the value of system variable SFS by copy count? It is two. Now the second if condition is true and it will print the text as customer copy. I will go for execution and you can see I have two copies in the bracket. It is clearly written in the first copy. What is the word original copy, original copy. Now, if I want to go to second copy, I will simply click on to next copy button. And you can see this is our second copy and the word is customer copy. See, rest everything is same, totally same. In the first and the second copy, the only one word difference is their original copy and customer copy. And you can simply compare it to real world. In real world, this is how, what is the importance of copies. Now, I'll just go for a simple mistake, which many people are doing. They will put this code after this text. Now, just see what will happen. Your text will process first and your logic will process after that. See, as of now, LV underscore text. So whenever this window will process, LV underscore text is blank, blank. And after that, you are writing a code to assign a value to LV text. Many times people did this mistake. They are writing the logic very good, but they are not. But it is a continuous process. Firstly, code will execute and then your output. You should display that text. Suppose in this case, I am displaying the text first and now I am writing a code. Then nothing will happen. LV underscore text will be blank. If I will simply run my smart form through the program.
you can see nothing displayed. I'll just go for sub. So, sorry, I forgot to give the copies. I'll go for two copies. LP01. You can see we have two copies, but nothing displayed. Why nothing displayed? Because you are displaying the text first and then you have a logic. Then text is blank first. So please, please, after writing the logic, you can go for displaying the text. So code should be first. Your program line should be first. Then you have the text. Now, if I will show the output again. Sorry, I'll just go for two copies. First copy, original copy, next copy. Custom. So this is full concept of copies window. In the copies window, you learned a lots of things because you learned one system variable, SFSY copy count. You also learned the concept of program line that how to create a program line inside the smart forms. In the copies window, to, you learned the concept of program lines. Now we will move on to our last type of window that is final window. What is final window? A final window is also a special type of window, which is special type of secondary window, which processed at the end of the form. Final final. Suppose. We have so many real world examples in which we want to display something whenever whole whole processing has been finished. So in that case, you always have to keep that information as a part of your final window. Suppose you want to display something on a first page, but that particular thing you will come to know whenever your whole smart form processing has been finished. So you always have to put in the final window because that window will process at the last, at the last. Suppose for the best understanding, I will firstly create a simple secondary window. I will show you then whenever I will convert that secondary to final, you will see what is the, what is the main benefit of final window. I will create a window. Create window. Suppose I will take this window as a secondary window. I will not take final window. Then I will convert to final window. With the help of form painter, I will adjust this. I will take this window at the last. And you can see I am doing everything through form painter. I will increase the view. Currently, this is my secondary window. It took all the dimensions automatically. I will create a text here. I will go to journal attributes of the text. I will go to text editor. I will go to for go to change editor. Suppose I am writing. The 
total amount is if you remember our total amount is coming into lv underscore total this is the variable which we have the sum i'm checking for syntax and i am activating it's a warning we can ignore this warning if you still want to remove this warning you can take it as a output but it's a warning you can ignore now i will run this smart form we created a secondary window and we are displaying the total inside the that particular window i will run i'll go for print preview and you can see my total amount is coming zero 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 see lv underscore total is displaying that total it has that total then why why it is displaying zero simple simple explanation this smart form how it processed it processed the windows in the sequential order it came to window 7 and it is a secondary window so it will process it will not process at the last it will simply go to the text which is inside this window and what is inside this window lv underscore total in lv underscore total is zero as of now so it is displaying zero then it will come on to other types of windows and you can see lv underscore total we are calculating here we are calculating here but when it processed is in the sequential order this is zero this is this variable is zero so it is displaying zero now suppose if i am converting this window to final window final window and i will check the syntax and activate now this window will process at the last sap will come to this window sap will not process in the sequential order as it is a final window it will go to rest type of windows whenever whole processing finish then it will come on to this type of window which is our final window and you see if when it come on to this type of window lv underscore total will be calculated so rest part of this final window we will come or will continue in the next video thank you